And as a little continuation to the load waypoint, which we just did, the unload waypoint. The group here will load into the vehicle. The vehicle will then be given the command to drive to the unload waypoint, where you will disembark. I mean... I'll just test it out, and it's that simple. Hello. And now, for the next waypoint, we're going to be dealing with transport and load. And to, I've just set up this little scenario to show you how it works. Um, basically, the transport will come up the load. It will load this fire team in. It will move to the transport and load. It will unload them, and then the t with because um, the get out one waypoints um, make the drivers get out. So this waypoint just unloads the cargo or the group that got in. So then the actual vehicle will be okay to move on to the last hold waypoint. And as for the group, they will um, get in. And it's they will be getting out there, but um, just so we've actually give them, give them something to do, we've added another waypoint which they will go and try and complete over there. And once they get out, they'll go and do it. Quite a useful waypoint. For this next waypoint, I'm going to be covering hold. Um, this will make the group move to the uh, waypoint and hold that position indefinitely. If you wanted to move them onto a the next waypoint in um, in the order of waypoints you have, you would need a switch type trigger or script command. But uh, yes, very very simple, but difficult to use. Well, I speak for myself. The next waypoint I'm covering is a hold. And as simple as it sounds, the group will simply move to the hold waypoint and stay there indefinitely. If you wanted to get them to follow the next waypoint in that you had planned for them, you would need a yeah, switch trigger or some script command. But um, yes, a very simple waypoint. And now we're looking at the sentry waypoint type. And what this does is um, the group will move to the waypoint and hold position until the group knows enough about an enemy unit to identify which side that they belong to and that they are capable of, capable, capable of attacking. At this point the group will either proceed to the next waypoint or they will attack a spotted enemy. So yes, I, they'll either move on if it's civilians or attack if it's an enemy. And now we move on to the guard waypoint type, which is a little bit more complicated, at least I found it so. It works in conduct conjunction with the guarded by trigger type. I will go into more detail in triggers later, but um, I've set up this little scenario and I'll explain it. This fire team has a guard waypoint and a guard trigger, so this trigger is considered guarded. This, these P fire team do not have a um, trigger, their waypoint inside a trigger, so they will go to the nearest unguarded one, which is this one up here. Um, and basically, when they get there, they will wait. Well, the official definition I have here is um, the group will move to the waypoint's location, then wait for a position to require guarding. There's only a uh, guard point is only considered guarded if a group has been sent set to guard it through a guard waypoint. That is to say, if you have friendly forces in the area of the trigger, but they have just been sent there by a move waypoint, then um, it will not be considered guarded. 
And um well that's pretty much it. But that's not all. Um once at a guard point the group will continue to check if uh any high priority guard points require guarding or for any enemies to engage. Fairly straightforward once uh, once you know. But um excellent stuff. And the next waypoint is talk. Um this is not the easiest of waypoints but um Basically, it's uh, used in combination with the effects button at the bottom of the waypoint dialog. The group's leader will uh, go to the waypoint and speak the given voice phrases. Um, and that's basically it. Not the most useful of waypoints, but yeah. And now we come on to one of the more complicated waypoints. Um, I'm not sure that uh, I don't... And now we come to one of the less used waypoints, one of the more complicated, talk. Um, well, it's used in combination with the effects button at the bottom of the waypoint dialog. The group's leader will uh, speak the given voice phrase with uh, lip movements and the group does not have to move to the waypoint's location instead skipping immediately to the next waypoint. So I'm not sure how much use you'll get out of it but that is all I found out about the talk waypoint. Now you can see in the bottom corner we have our scripted type waypoint, we have our fire team and uh, well, to explain a little bit more about this waypoint um, let me continue. This waypoint type will be will execute the script file that is in the script box, like the very bottom here, at the bottom of the waypoint screen. Enter the name directly without any exe type or command quotation quotation marks for uh, augmentations. The group will not move to the waypoint location. The group will wait until the external script exes before moving on to the next waypoint. And uh, I'll, I may get into more detail about this later, but um, scripting is kind of new to me. So, yes. That is what you need to use that little box. You need the scripting waypoint. And now we come to the support waypoint type. Um, this group has a medic. This group has a injured team leader. And, um, well, a group with a current waypoint of support, this type waypoint, will move to the waypoint's position here. Then wait until it can provide support to another group. It requests the call support command in the command menu, which is this group. At this time, the waiting group will proceed to the location the support was called for and wait for the supported group to declare support done before continuing to wait and to respond to any further calls for support from their new location. So, fairly simple that if they have medics or anything that can be used like that you know it just allows them to go off and help other groups and now we come on to the get in nearest waypoint basically the team will move there and they will get in any unoccupied the nearest unoccupied vehicle or um, vehicle with, that's on their side that has empty uh, seats. The range of this, the range they'll actually go out to is about 50 meters. So, quite useful. The next waypoint type is dismissed. 
And um, this waypoint type can be used to simulate casual or off-duty behavior. The group will move to the waypoint and then be dismissed. The group will automatically split itself into smaller teams of one or two or four units. We'll move to random locations, sit down, etc. Just generally take the piss. Um, they will, they can wander for quite a long time, and the waypoint is only considered complete um, when the group comes into contact with an enemy unit. So. Yeah, does not make any things interesting. The last uh, two types of waypoints are an AND type, which is only available for um, groups and on the game logic side. This waypoint will not complete until the waypoint is synchronized, synchronized or until it has been until its synchronization has been completed and the OR type which works in the same way. Um, they're both for game logic and that is the end of uh, this little foray into what each type of waypoint does. I hope it hasn't been too boring for you. I hope you found something useful out of it. Um, and please let me know if you have an opinion on the video. Thanks. Goodbye.